Singletary if she could remain after our meeting and I'd like to gather some more information from her. Uh, the next citizen to be heard, Mr. Sidney Blanton. Please come forward, state your name and your address, please. Sidney Blanton, I live at 151 Blanton Drive. Used to be in the county. I was one of the islands. Uh, I'm here to talk about Splosh. Uh, I, I heard the, the motion about the library. That's a very you know, needed thing. I came by there the other day and I seen their building. It is bad need of repair. Uh, we had Mr. McGee, McGee James McGee used to be the CEO of the hospital. He was at our meeting last Thursday. Uh, I asked him very, some very pointed questions about the splotch. He couldn't answer them. He said that all the money that's sent to Atlanta will be coming back, you know, that that money will never leave Lowndes County. And I said, Mr. McGee, I said, how do you know that every dime that goes up there comes back? Oh, well, those people, I said, did you believe them, I suppose? I said, they're going to be honest and they're going to tell you that if you send $5 million, they're going to send $5 million back. Uh, is there any kind of accounting that says, okay, this amount of money has been sent out of Lambs County to the state of Georgia or to the Revenue Commission, so we will be getting this amount of money back? Uh, he couldn't answer. I said, what, what kind of of uh, what projects is going to be done with this splash? He said, well, it's infrastructure and it's this and that and the other. And I said, well, if you will look at splash one, you will see the same list on splash one that's on splash seven. Uh, infrastructure don't hunt. If you don't do something, specify. And I talked to, to Paige a while ago, and she says, we have a list of what? is to be completed. Well, I'm here. How many citizens in Lowndes County is never going to know what's going on? Print it in the newspaper. I seen that little referendum in the paper the other night, and it looked just like the first one did. But specify in the paper, okay, we're going to pave this road, or we're going to pave this, or we're going to build this bridge, or we're going to do this, or we're going to do that, or that. And, you know, this is contingent upon such. I live in the city. I'm going to see the city commission Thursday night and they're going to hear the same thing. Their big project is the wastewater treatment plant. Well, I cropped the back on the side of that hill when I was 16 years old and that area was underwater then and it's still underwater. If that's the project that they're pushing so hard, let them say so. This is the project we're going to do. We gonna build this wastewater treatment plant first, above anything else. Uh, there's this, and and I, I don't know any of y'all. Your your elected officials, I, you know, you you pledged your oath when you was elected, and you said that I will serve the citizens of Lowndes County. But a lot of the elector the electorate does not ask the million dollar question what is best for the citizens I serve. And they don't, they, they, and in, inside the big circle up there in Washington, them people is, is totally illiterate on what they're supposed to do. Y'all, you're local. We get to talk to y'all. We get to see you get, you know, I can see you out on the street. You can talk to me and that. Some of that much don't. So if you want the citizens of Lowndes County to vote for this squash, say what you're going to do with it. Put out in the paper that every year, okay, this project has been completed. This amount of money was spent on that project. You know, these projects is what's left to do. This project is 50% complete. This project is 35% complete. Keep the citizens informed of what you're doing. 
I mean, you know, think about it. Just food for thought. I appreciate it. And uh, if you will come to the city commission meeting Thursday night, you're going to hear me say the same thing to Lincoln. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Blaine.